Well, I like to pitch with my 54 degree. Um, it's my favorite wedge. You know, I, I've got a maximum that I can hit it about 115 yards. So yeah, if I am laying up, I'll try not to lay up any, any further back than that, um, unless you're forced to. So yeah, I've managed to leave myself 115 yards here. So I know that's just a nice full, full 54 for me. Get there. <laughs> this is my favourite distance now. I come into about 100 yards, leave myself about 100 yards from the hole. This is my ideal number with this 54. You know, can really feel like I've got the feel of the feel of the shot. You know, I'll just take a little bit off my swing, do the same sort of things. It's just a slightly shorter swing. The whole swing is generally a little bit shorter, but you know, the closer you get, a little bit more control you can have. I don't like pitching with a, such a full swing on a 60 degree wedge. I like to just come down a little bit with, with my 54. Here we've got about 85 yards. So a similar sort of thing. Just take a little bit more off the swing like I did on, on the 100 yard shot. It's gonna come out a little bit lower. Grip down the shaft a little bit. Short. Controlling the distance, I like, like to work by a few swing positions during my swing. Obviously, you've got the full full swing. Is as it sounds, you just this is just a perfectly full golf swing with your 54. And then, as I get to the hundred, I like to get my hands roughly level with my shoulder. Similar sort of mirror through on the through swing. And then, obviously, the less less yardage you have, the shorter you swing. So an 85 yard, I try and get like the, the tag of the shaft level with my shoulder, swing through a similar sort of finishing distance. So then you just repeat those swings, practice those numbers, you get out on the course and you, and you, you can lay up to some really strong distances. Shame about the last one. <laughs> 